Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Insider Financial Talks Penny Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com and today we're going to be discussing AXAS, AABB, EEENF, ILUS, ATXI, CTK, and XCUR. But before we get into that, we have a few housekeeping issues to go over. We have no business relationship with any company whose stock is mentioned in this video. Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational and educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. For more information, please read our full disclaimer at insiderfinancial.com backslash disclaimer. With that out of the way, remember to smash the thumbs up button if you like this video. Also hit the red subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified when we, when we go live with a new video. So go over to signup.insiderfinancial.com. This is where subscribers get first look at stocks we're going to be covering. These are day and swing trade short term momentum penny stock alerts. These are trading and investing ideas to help you maximize your gains. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. It works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And text messages are the fastest way to get our alerts, especially as we release all of our profiles at the opening bell for subscribers only. You can also click the red download ebook to get the free insider financial guide to penny stocks. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. With that out of the way, let's dive in here, folks. First up is AXAS. Uh, this is just a QX with just a $12 million market cap. That's pretty impressive. And then when you dive in and you look at their uh, recent uh, press release, they have total proof PV10 reserves. They grew 467% to $229 million. Uh, the reserve report, this reserve report captured the company's Delaware Basin, West Texas assets only. Uh, this post sale, the company's back in assets as previously reported. They um, Back in January, they announced they had sold their Williston Basin assets for $87 million. They used the proceeds to pay, us, pay off all first lien debt and all second lien debt exchange for preferred stock. So we really like AXAS. Uh, we see this one as undervalued and uh, has room to climb. But as you can, as I, for those that are fans of my channel, uh, you know I talk a lot about the 20, the 50, and the 200 day moving average. What was the day's range uh, yesterday? $1.79 ran right into the 200 day moving average of $1.81. So always watch the 20, 50, and the 200 day moving averages. Uh, these are very important technical uh, uh, points that everyone watches. Uh, next up is AABB, uh, rounding bottom, uh, backed off the highs, uh, couldn't uh, hold the highs of 12 cents, pulled back to, to a dime. It's running into resistance at the 50 and the 200 day. Uh, the 50 is 13 and a half cents. Uh, the 200 day is 14 cents. Uh, we get above there, we get a close above 15 and this one's off and running. And AABB, I really like this one because it has a history of price spikes huge social media following uh you know last year it got as high as 60 cents uh back in uh, in march uh in november it got up to almost 30 cents in uh december was above 30 cents again so again just an impressive uh trader uh you want to buy dips sell rips you know guys don't fall in love with any play just uh churn them and burn them it's all about the PL, make money, move on. And uh, if you want to fall in love with something, go fall in love with a blue chip. But speaking of uh, falling in love, uh, one of our favorite plays is EEENF. And when I say fall in love, it's just a great risk reward setup down here. Either you're going to go broke, uh, the, the Merlin 2 well is going to be a huge hit, and Chevron or Exxon is going to come and buy uh, 88 energy out, or it's a bust and the stock goes to zero. I'm just being honest with you, folks. 
uh, if it's if it's a success, uh, you know, they're sitting on a ton of oil. Uh, you know, this one could easily be 50 cents a, a, a dollar. So, you know, I think there's a 10, 20, 30 X opportunity in E, 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 N, F. Uh, they had put out an update um, on Twitter. Uh, this was uh, on Monday where we please report that the mobilization of our Arctic Fox rig is now complete and the final phase of the Merlin 2 pre-spud operations are on track. So they're moving along al already. And uh, then last month they, uh, they agreed to acquire approximately 73% average networking interest in established oil and gas assets in the Permian Basin in Texas. Uh, these assets, known collectively uh, as Project Longhorn, contain net 2P reserves of 2.1 billion uh, barrels of oil equivalent. Uh, at uh, today's prices, uh, that's over uh, 200, 200 million dollars to 250 million dollars uh, in value in assets. So definitely, uh, you know, I, I think them by them making this uh, move, it has de-risked. Uh, 88 energy as a in terms of risk reward i talked about you know uh, the the risk reward if, if the um, on the merlin too well asked too well too well well if you look at what they're doing with uh diversifying that removed the the zero uh uh the, the law, total loss of your investment in the sense that they bought these assets. So again, smart move by management. You always want to be diversified, um, but we really, uh, we really like this play. It's a great, uh, great management team out of Australia, and uh, we're anxiously waiting for the results of the Merlin 2 uh, well. Uh, next up is ILUS um, <clears throat> has bottomed out at 10 cents, uh, running into some resistance at 20 cents. We got the 200-day moving average at 21 cents, the 50-day moving average at 24 cents. Uh, we were at 50 cents uh, last year. Uh, we get back above uh, the 50 and the 200-day. Uh, we're going to test new highs, um, but this is a, a, a you know a great play with with everything that's going on in Ukraine. Uh, you know. Fire safety uh, rescue plays are, 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 you know, there's going to be a lot of defense spending, uh, and ILUS uh, will benefit. This is an M&A play. Um, you know, it's a real company building real businesses, making strategic acquisitions. Uh, we really like what they're doing, and uh, you know, this is uh, an example of a quality OTC stock uh, that you want to be paying attention to in these markets. Um, Overall, guys, um, you know, to start the, the week off, uh, you know, disappointing on OTC. Uh, yeah, Tuesday saw 1,945 advancers to 2,517 decliners, but the volume really picked up. We've been seeing 2.1, 2.2 billion dollars in daily trading volume as an average. On Tuesday, we saw 3.15 billion traded, so that is a positive sign. Um, but right now what's going on um, is the, the NASDAQ and small caps uh, on the NASDAQ are extremely hot. Uh, case in point is ATXI. Uh, you know, this one was up uh, over, uh, it ran from, opened at 56 cents, uh, ran all the way to $1.25. Um, you know, so if you go over here and just look at the five minute, uh, you can see the, the, the price action here. Um, you know, it opened and then, you know, you see, this is why you got to play the open guys. You got to be there right at 930, catch these opens and, uh, you know, it just never looked back uh, until later in the day. And, and, you know, what I want to tell you guys about uh, what's going on, uh, you know, ATXI, CTK, XCUR, there's no news. These are being pumped. These are being done in chat rooms, discord rooms, uh, you know, Play the pumps. I, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I hate the pumpers. But, you know, this is what gets the market excited. This is what, you you know, when you're seeing these big runs, uh, you know, it's supply and demand. If you have more buyers and FOMO chasing in, but this is why I tell you guys, you got to be booking profits in this. you got to be trading these. You can't be buy and hold. You're going to end up becoming a bag holder. 
So, uh, you know, it's impo so important to trade them. Uh, we monitor all the Discord rooms, all the chat rooms for our subscribers. Uh, you know, so we send out alerts on what's going on uh, in those rooms. So, you know, make sure you are a subscriber at signup.insiderfinancial.com. This way we can, uh, you know, it's a free service. And this way you know what the, the, the big runners of the day are and what's happening. Um, you know, we haven't been sending out a lot of alerts lately. Uh, it's been a quiet market. Um, had some winners, uh, some, you know, pulled back. Uh, but, you know, when they're not working, just get out. You know, you can't uh, fall in love with anything and, uh, you know, move on. Um, there's plenty of opportunities. And, uh, you know, once these markets get hot, you're just going to be printing money. So, uh, you know, I really like the, the price action as, as we begin March. Uh, what we're seeing, you know, the small caps on NASDAQ are getting hot, uh, you know, and this is what we're going to be focused on for our subscribers. So make sure you're signed up with your email and your mobile number. This way you get these uh, uh, opening bell alerts. This way you know what's going on. You can f read the full report, do your due diligence, uh, and then decide if, uh, if the, if the uh, profile is right for you uh, based on your... Uh, own risk reward dynamics. So uh, again, learn to trade. Don't get into diamond hands, paper hands, BS. Uh, it's all about the PL, and uh, we try to, you know, for our subscribers, find the the biggest runners uh, today that are uh, that are going to be running uh, today and tomorrow. So uh, again, short term momentum penny stock alerts. That's what we specialize in. Uh, and if that's what you're interested in, go to signup.insiderfinancial.com. There's also a link in the description and also a pinned uh, comment. Thank you everyone for watching, subscribing, following. Uh, I'll be coming live to you uh, after the bell with, an, with a new video. Have a great day everyone. Bye-bye.